Hey guys, it's Coach B. Wiley here. I hope you're having a good day. If you just stumbled upon my page, my name is Coach B. Wiley. I come on here and I give you content that is all about dating disasters, dating drama, relationship trauma, breakups, how to transition out of that breakup into your single season. I write books on being single and how to get your priorities in order during your single season. And I also talk about communication and how to communicate effectively in every aspect of all of your relationships. So if you like conversations such as those, feel free to subscribe. I'm Coach B. Wiley on all platforms. Today is one of my favorite things to do. It's called Ask B. Wiley. I started Ask B. Wiley Wednesdays, even though this isn't a Wednesday that you're watching this on. This is Monday. I started my Ask B. Wiley Wednesdays years ago on Facebook. The problem was I didn't have enough engaged audience an engaged audience or people following me that wanted to talk to me and so it failed <laughs> so i started it again once i got a more engaging audience and now the questions are overflowing if you ever want to ask me a question feel free drop it in my comment email me my email is always in the description box coach b wiley on youtube Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I will be glad to answer your question. You will always be anonymous, so keep that in mind. All right, today's question, after that long introduction, today's question, it's from a young lady. I got my laptop here. My bedazzled laptop. It says, in relationships, is it better to take a break or talk things out? What is it with this break thing? Like, that is a common trend in relationships taking a break now let's talk about friendship first you know when you're friends with someone i can relate to this if you've been friends with someone and maybe you're butting heads on something maybe that person is making some silly decisions and you've tried to address it with them and they're full of resistance and they're on the defense and they have a lot of pushback so you decide all right i'm gonna take a pause for the cause I'm going to block this friend and or just not even pick up their phone calls or tell them when I do pick up the phone calls, I can't hang out because I got to go visit my grandma in Peru. You just create excuses and then you take a break. However, when you come back, the goal is when you take a break, specifically in a friendship, when you come back, you need to be able to address the mess, whatever the mess is. I believe in taking breaks in friendships 100%. Because one of my closest friends right now, we're, we will be friends for right under 20 years this year. And we had a couple, maybe two or three breaks throughout the duration of 20 years. And the good news is every time we came back to each other, we were able to talk things through. Whether I agreed with what they wanted from me or said about me, or whether they agreed with what I had to say about them or about the situation. Every single time we were mature enough to discuss the issue and agree to disagree and just move on with our friendship. And our friendship, thank you, Jesus, knock on wood, has been flourishing ever since. So if you see this person as a lifelong friend and you see this person growing and you're growing in the same direction, not saying you have to be the same person and use the same brain. I mean, if you see this person making wise decisions in their life, decisions that you can learn from, decisions that you're inspired by, decisions that you're happy about, and they have good habits, and you genuinely have fun together, and you love them as a human, then yes, you can take breaks, causes, and all things in between. Because this friend that I'm talking about, we literally became friends when I was like 21. So I'm 40. I'll be 41 this year. And so you want to think about it when it comes to friendships. Is this friend worth my time? Is this friend changing, growing, and can I challenge this friend to be their highest self? Or is this friend at 19 years old still doing the same things at 29 years old? It's all about being open and honest, specifically when we're talking about taking a break from a friendship because you have to realize why you're taking a break. And if it's affecting your mental health, if the conversation, if the relationship with the friend is making you uncomfortable, uneasy, makes you feel like you're walking on eggshells, or just making you crazy, you got to do what's best for you. Now, 
let's transition into, into the relationship. Now, when we're talking about relationships, no, I don't. Bottom line, I do not believe in taking a break in relationships. Trust me. The longest relationship I had as an adult, the one and only solely, I've dated a bunch. I've dated more than I've been in a, a relationship. And this particular relationship, we took breaks over the course of five years. Oh, Lord. I don't know how many breaks we took. At least once a year. <laughs> All these breaks. And when you take a break in a relationship, what are you breaking for? Why can't you be adults and address what the issue is and get down to the root of the problem? Just because you're taking a break doesn't mean that when you come back together that the same issues won't persist. They absolutely will. When you break, and I've said this in another video, when you break, you need to break up and break off and keep it moving because it's not healthy. I think it's a characteristic of toxicity when you're breaking up and coming back together and breaking up and on and off that on and off stuff. I'll be watching these shows like reality shows. I watch like divorce court, anything re related to relationships. I'm watching it. And a lot of people will say, well, we've been on and off since we was teenagers and they're like 35. We've been on and off. Like, why would you be on and off of anything? between 15 and 35 and that's just a random example i'm just making that up but it's just like it's not making any sense why are you breaking up literally ask yourself if you're watching this and you're on an on again off again break up to make up type of situation why do you keep on breaking up and what makes you come back and get over the breakup after you just broke up so i do not believe in breakups in relationships and a lot of people these days are using this breakup take a break thing to do they thing it's typically involving another party and technically they won't be cheating because if you're on a break then hey we weren't together and a lot of people will be reckless with themselves when they're on said break a lot of times that's what these babies be popping up then other times stds pop up and you just never know what you're dealing with. So in my mind, I say no to breakups in a relationship. And it's just not healthy. I've experienced that before. I've experienced both sides like I just explained to you. If you're watching this and you're like with someone right now. And it's just like, oh, I want to be with this person. However, I don't like certain things about themselves. All you got to do. Remember the movie, Why Did I Get Married? The first one. When um, Jenny Jackson's character told them to write down the pros and the cons of their marriages and their relationships. And if the good outweighs the bad, keep it moving. Do the work. Challenge yourself to challenge your mate to get through whatever you're going through. However, if the cons outweigh the pros, you got to, hey, you got to do some reevaluation here. You got to be honest with yourself. Are you willing to continue a lifelong relationship with this person? every day, all day, when the cons are literally shining bright like a diamond, like a red flag in your face? Or are you one of those people that are willing to look over the cons because of, typically it has to do with money, because of money, what they can do for you, what they can buy you, because that's like a thing now, like women being bought. Not all women, of course. I never put all of anything in a box. Not all men, not all women. I just don't, because it's stupid. So you have to really have a conversation with yourself. So if you made it this far, again, thank you for watching. Go ahead and subscribe if you feel the need to do so. And today's question again was in relationships, is it better to take a break or talk things out? It is better to evaluate what the situation is. You can talk most things out outside of if they beating you up, if they're doing bodily harm to you in another way, if they're being disrespectful, if they're cussing you out, if they're cheating, like we got to have some deal breakers. Like a lot of us these days, we don't have deal breakers because we just want to be with someone that we decide won't have no standards, won't have no deal breakers. And we just going to close our eyes and act like it did not happen. And it's not making any sense. So you can talk some things out like, oh, my mate leaves his stuff all over the floor. He's so messy. Or my mate is always late to our date nights. Or my mate doesn't communicate well. Or my mate 
will say he's going to do something and then and then not follow up. And by he, I mean she too. It goes both ways. Don't get it twisted. I was just saying he or she, let me use she, or she is always taking too long in the bathroom to get ready in the morning and she knows I need to meet my client because I'm a trainer in the morning every day, but she's always taking too long in the bathroom and I'm always running late to get to, to my training session with my client. Or she always expects for me to buy and roll out the red carpet every single time we go out. Why can't we just simplify some things sometimes? Why does everything have to be grand and extravagant? What's that about? Or she always cuts me off. Every time I want to express myself and be open and honest, she always cuts me off. So it goes both ways. Most things can be talked, talked through. However, if it is affecting your peace, if it's directly, sorry, I got this retainer in my mouth, guys. I'm sorry. It's t -t 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 -t. So if it's directly affecting your mental health, if it's affecting you physically, if it's draining you, there you go. You'll know that it probably cannot be talked out if it's literally making you miserable and you're literally waking up drained. So the good news is, lastly, in your friendships, I believe you can take breaks. And then when you come back, you can talk things out and then go from there. And then in relationships, romantically speaking, nope, I don't believe in it. I just don't. I just don't believe in it. Now, if y'all want to argue with me, we can go back and forth like tennis. I'm kidding. I don't go back and forth with people. But no, seriously, tell me your thoughts in the comments. Are you okay with taking a break from someone? And during the break, what are you doing? What are you doing during the break that's going to change the relationship once you come back together? Let me know in the comments. Are you in an on-again, off-again relationship right now? Did you just come out out of a break? Come out of a break? Are you in a break right now? Let me know your thoughts. Outside of that, guys, thank you for watching. Go ahead and follow me on other social media, Coach B. Wiley, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and Facebook. If you want to ask me a question, feel free. Ask B. Wiley at CoachBWiley.com. That's my email. It's always in the description box. And then go ahead and get, I never say this, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Because a lot of people will watch my videos because I see who's, not who's watching, but I see the numbers. And you'll watch it and I'll get a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of views, but nobody thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever, you know, neither one. So if you like the content, thumbs it up so I'll know what content you want to see. And if you're watching this and you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. If you're coming back, you might as well be subscribed so you can get the notifications on when I upload. Now, outside of that, just tell me your thoughts in the comments. How are you feeling about this question of the day on Ask Me Wiley? I will be glad to answer your question. Just let me know what it is and we'll talk later. Bye.